All right, folks, we are back. Uh, round two this evening. Uh, pumpkin beer time. Back at full force. Picked up five of them today. This is not... This is a pumpkin shandy. Uh, for all you folks, it's, it's the limited release Jacko Traveler. The pumpkin shandy from the Traveling Beer Company. Uh, says here... Representing the darker side of Shandy Jackalow Traveler and altering wheat beer illuminated by the taste of fall, it strikes a perfect balance between bright refreshment and seasonal spice. Jackio is made with real pumpkin for a delicious, dark hued, sandy inspired beer. Ah, uh, you know, I can't remember if I had this or not. Uh, I've had a few Traveler beers that are okay. The Winter Traveler was respectable. Uh, the regular Traveler Lemon Shandy, pretty good. Uh, you know, I don't know. I was talking to a guy tonight at Jungle Jams, and he actually said this is his favorite pumpkin beer. And I, I didn't laugh at him. I didn't judge him. I'm like, wow, really? And he goes, yeah. He said, me and my wife, we bought this by the case last year. And for some reason, I don't know if I tried this. I actually enjoyed mine and Google's pumpkin shandy. So let's give this a shot. Now, this is not too chilled either, so I do have it, you know, cold, but not, not, uh, uh, ice cold there. Uh, see if I can get the last particulars our traveler bottle cap there. I'll see if I can get particulars about the brew. There really isn't a whole lot to it. It doesn't even say the ABV. Uh, there we go. 4.4 percent. Says wheat ale brewed with lemon peel with natural flavors and pumpkin added. And yeah, lemon peel. 4.4 percent alcohol by volume. And the beer is good until January of 2018. That is cool. Uh, they have the beer date there, so let's go ahead and get a pour. I don't have any, I do have some traveler glassware, but it is It's uh, it's not for beer tasting that's on the shelf No, it's, it's not, I got a shelf here. People can see my reviews uh, Just polish off the habanero skull, but my goodness Excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and get a pour on this traveler pumpkin shandy here That's making a lot of head. I didn't get a good. Yeah. Didn't get the right angle on the glassware there. Wow, well, not at all. Mercy. Yeah, a few beers. Four, four. This will be the fifth beer of the night. A little buzz. Uh, but yeah, this guy was talking to a nice guy. Welder in the area. And he actually, believe it or not, he, I think he could be one of my best friends. I, I, he was he is drunk. He was drinking a sour monkey from Victory. He had two of those. He was on his third pint. That's 8%. But he said, man, I just love pumpkin beer, fall beers. He's like, I hate IPAs. And, uh... You know, I was like, dude, that's my kind of guy. I was like, this is awesome. Didn't like Ryan guys to, he's like, I like pumpkin beers, I like stouts, I like porters. And I said, me and you are the minority. I was like, there's probably 100 people and we'd be the only two standing alone. And that guy was awesome. So he told me this beer. I don't know if I've tried this. I think I've had this beer two or three years ago, not last year. And he said, this is, he said it's the best. And I said, oh, he said pumpkin was the best. I rephrase it. He said pumpkin was the best, but he said this is the best that he can afford. Nobody can afford pumpkin every week. I mean, it's a treat. I mean, they want nine bucks for a bar. Some here want 17 bucks or 18 bucks for a four pack. I mean, as good as pumpkin and certain tier is, my goodness, it's a rich man's beer. $17.99 for four bottles. None of the ABVs there, but man, $18 for four beers. You know, the bomber's not. I still go to the bomber, right? You know, you get two beers. That's four fifty. but Man, but anyway, let's get off that topic and let's say, uh, let's get on rum on the Traveler. It is a wheat shandy pumpkin beer. Good color. Nice fall color there. You see the, uh, not much head on it though. Yeah, none. That's as flat as a pancake. Let's get the aroma. Oh my, wow. Oh my goodness. So I'm getting some great pumpkin aroma. It did send the bottle smell of real pumpkin. You can't trust, you can't trust that. Try to have pumpkin beers. Eight of them say that. None of them have any pumpkin. But this aroma at least. And they get that wheat lemon zesty aroma as well. Okay. Uh, let's say cheers to the brewers of Traveler for all their hard work and going in. And let's say cheers to my viewers. And let's uh, let's get this smell. This again, I, this is a beer. So many beers are so such an aroma flavored anymore. Let's give it a shot. Cheers. Wow. Oh my god. That guy's probably right. That is excellent. Oh my goodness. Oh, I might have found a new favorite. Mercy. That is the closest, closest beer I've had to a pumpkin. It is so smooth, so light. 
this is what I, I you know, almost pumpkin beer should almost be shandies. That is tremendous. This is going to be right up there, Chris. That is awesome. And it's going down like, wow, I can see what this guy meant now. And it's perfect, tip. I guess it's about 52 degrees. Uh, this is phenomenal. I need to get a six pack tomorrow. I'm getting a six pack tomorrow. And he's limited with the lease. Jacko Traveler, my goodness. This is going right up there. Uh, I'm going to get another swig, but I, I got to say, this is excellent. It, it's not even, to me, this is not even a shandy. This is like, and it's, I don't know, maybe it is a shandy because it's light. It sounds like a pumpkin lager. But it almost feels like the pumpkin flavor is so real. And this is real pumpkin. I think it is. So many other burgers use pumpkin abstract. This is real raw. Oh my goodness. One more swig here to me. Get the proof. That is so, my goodness. That is so light and easy drinking. This is unbelievable. I mean, it's almost kind of too light, but my God. Great pumpkin beer here. This is, I gotta say, this is an A and probably up the list in the pumpkin beers. I'm not gonna say it's pumpkin or slapley. This might be, this is gonna be my third favorite pumpkin beer of this season thus far. Tremendous. Uh, I will say the only thing is it's not, because it is a shiny, it's not a full body beer, it's a lighter beer. But the pumpkin flavor is excellent. The smoothness of this beer, A plus, there's nothing wrong with this, is excellent. My goodness, I can get a six pack of this tomorrow. I've rambled on long enough. This is, we're going to enjoy this. The Traveler Jackie O Pumpkin Shandy. Tremendous. Pick this up if you're a pumpkin fan, a fall fan. You know, I kind of, and I feel like an asshole, an arrogant prick. I kind of, when the guy told me this, I kind of was like, I kind of let them, I was like, dude, I didn't say anything to him. I was like, oh, okay. Kind of played along. I was like, dude, really? I'm thinking to myself, like, no. But he was spot on. And let, you know, I did not, I must, I must not have had this a year ago. I think two or three years ago. And it was, you know, okay. But my goodness. And this is excellent. It's a hidden gem in the pumpkin beer world. This is what you want. A plus, baby. Cheers to Traveler. Now, we've got a couple more on ice. The Erie and I think I got the, uh, what was the other one? That Sam Adams, Heffelweizen. Half All right, well, cheers, folks. We'll see you soon. Bye.